And she's Yang Yang. <laughs> we are in the gorgeous spirits. It's on the outskirts of Jinzhou, Huanglong. Your attire doesn't seem local. Are you a roving traveler from afar or someone returning home? Nice and quiet here now, but you never know when a tacit discord might pop up out of nowhere. Oh my, speak of the devil!
So you still remember how to fight despite having forgotten everything? Wow. Watch me lead the charge next time. No one. Ma from the fight? This is the statue of Jue, the sentinel in Zhenzhou, in the shape of a long. There is one capital and six cities in Huanglong, with each city having its own sentinel. While they share... Our sentinel? One can hardly see our sentinel with their own eyes. Most people only get the chance during the appointment ceremonies. According to your description, you stood pretty close. Only the sentinel's appointed resonator is allowed in its proximity. For now, that person is the magistrate of Zhenzhou. might be in danger. Rover, please.
speeding up. That was close. You fought so well. I didn't even get a chance to help, and Yang Yang just rushed over to protect you like a mu- Anyway, Yang Yang was trying to shield you, and then BAM! The test of Discord was taken care of before I could get a good look! Shizia! <clears throat> oh, by the way, speaking of Baijia, we're almost there. The place where we said we'd meet with Baijia. She's the resonator I've been talking about. Baijia can heal with her resonance ability, and we found you together at the bottom of the gorge. Baijia did some first aid for you. You seemed to have drowned, but your airway was clear. Your clothes were dry and clean, too. Oh, and of course, it was Yang Yang who investigated your clothes and mouth by feeling it through the streams. She kept... There's a resonance beacon over there. When you see a beacon, be sure to register and activate it. It's usually safe within a five meter radius of a beacon. It can protect you from danger sometimes. Rover, could you hand me your terminal for a moment? <sighs> Done. Its design and system version are different from ours, but your terminal still... Here it'll make things easier. I will show you how to use it. Once you're out of the gorge, there's only a short walk to reach Jinjo. Jinjo is the safest place around here. The Resonance Nexus provides coverage for the whole city. Besides, we've got a protective barrier and strong fortifications. <laughs> right? Jinjo sits between the Deseret Highland and the Norfolk Barrens. It's a border city and a fortress. It's very crucial to the safety of Huanglong. Huh? We've agreed to meet up with Bai Zhe here. Where is she? show up 
It wasn't here when we just got here. But I didn't sense a hint of a tacit field's presence. So it appeared while we weren't looking? Like, in the blink of an eye? Or maybe the etheric sea can tell where we are. Could it be following us? The center of the tacit field. Isn't that Baija? Baija! Baija! We're too far away. Perhaps she can't hear us. here and she said she was off to collect some samples. Gosh, did she really go straight into the heart of a tacit field for that? Baijiu wouldn't take such risks without careful consideration. Freshly formed tacit fields go through a dormant period. The faster a tacit field forms, the longer its dormant period lasts. For now, this tacit field should be safe. beyond the tacit field's range. Besides, Baija is there. We'll have to go down and see what is going on. Now it's time to use a glider module. Rover, let me help you activate it. One more time. Keep 
it together. I see your weakness. we get to find these. Also, there's a limit to what your gourd can absorb. Absorption is only possible when your data bank's level is equal to or higher than the tacit discord's level. The terminal can then convert its reverberation into an echo for use in battle. My terminal 
issued a warning when I detected that tacit discord earlier. It should have over. Would you mind checking your data bank level? No need for that. Rover, why don't you just try absorbing it with your terminal? Oh, so it doesn't work. It won't take long before the reverberations disappear and the etheric sea vanishes. Once that happens, the resonance beacon signals will come back. The tacit field will dissipate, biding time for its next resurgence. <sighs> we'll need to report the unusual phenomena here to the City Hall and the Academy. Let's make our exit. Absorbing echoes with the human body is not entirely unprecedented. With the human body? I remember Comprehensive Mirror for Historians mentioned this in the Huanglong section's opening. A celestial being descended, commanding the Tiankun's boundless power. Assuming mortal form, they condensed the primordial essence, creating Pangu, cleaving heaven and earth apart. They aligned the celestial and terrestrial. Their radiance encompassed the four corners. Thus began the illustrious annals of Huanglong, as provinces were first demarcated. That's where the names Pangu Terminal and Tiangun Data Bank come from. It's true or not, that story happened a long time ago, when Jinjo didn't even exist. Could it be that Rover's like the great, 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 great granddaddy of us all? Let's not jump to conclusions without enough data and proper analysis. Rover. to all of Jinjo from the City Hall. My fellow soldiers and citizens, I apologize for any inconvenience caused. I am Jin Shi, the Magistrate of Jinjo. As the moon 
wind-chasing festival approaches, our city welcomes visitors from around the world. The festivities are highly anticipated by our people, and I too share in this joyful sentiment. Jingzhou has always been a crucial defense against the tacit discord outbreaks, safeguarding Huanglong. We have a heavy responsibility in our shoulders with no room for retreat or failure. It is the dedication of our warriors, along with the diligence of our citizens, that has allowed us to thrive in peace and prosperity. Despite the challenges of tacit discords, we remain steadfast and hospitable to visitors, upholding our enduring traditions. With that in mind, I have a favor to ask. Among our many visitors, there is one visitor that holds utmost importance to me, the city of Jinzhou, and the entirety of Huanglong. We have awaited your arrival for a long time. Given the circumstances, you may be feeling bewildered at this time. You should have noticed some strange happenings related to you. If you plan to stay in Jinjo for some time, I would be more than delighted to personally meet you in the City Hall of Jinjo. While I cannot guarantee to provide all the answers you need, I will do my best to assist you and provide necessary permissions if applicable. This is only my personal request. You can decide your course of action in any way you see fit. Therefore, I request the people and soldiers of Jinjo to assist this esteemed visitor when the opportunity arises. This person our Magistrate was talking about... ...as Rover. Are you curious about our Magistrate's title, Rover? Our Magistrate's real name is C. Usually, the Sentinel selects a candidate during the appointment ceremony to become our Magistrate. They will then take on the city's name as their surname. This signifies their wholehearted dedication to the city and its people. Hey, that ain't the point, okay? What are your plans now, Rover? I remember you had a flashback of yourself looking into its eyes when you saw the statue of our sentinel. We can't confirm its authenticity, but based on the Magistrate's message, it seems Chen Zhou has a lot to do with your past. Whether you were the visitor a um, Magistrate mentioned or not, you are surely important to Chen Zhou, and you will be our important... Friend! We've already entrusted our lives to each other. I've never seen so many TDs packed together, and that elite one was so scary. Well, you did get rid of most of them. <laughs> anyway, once we're back in Jinjo, I'll treat you that famous specialty from Pan Wa's restaurant. <laughs> 